Welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to talk about the purpose of doors and the different types as per functionality. Stay tuned. Door purpose. The importance of first impressions. What would you guess is the first thing that people see when they look at your home? Paint color, the architectural style, or the landscaping? The answer is actually your exterior doors. Most homes are designed with the front door as the focal point, and the eye is naturally drawn to this point first. If you want to make a great first impression, you need to have a great front door. 1. A great door is a display your style and personality. It's a common misconception that only one or two styles of doors will work with the rest of a home's design scheme. The truth is that you can mix and match styles, colors, shapes, and sizes to give your home some real personality. The door can complement the look of the rest of the home or serve as a bold point of contrast. You can also use your selection of door to fit in with the look of the rest of the neighborhood or to stand out from the pack. 2. A great door also adds curb appeal and value. Since your front door is such a focal point, it will be one of the first things that prospective buyers see when you're trying to sell your home. A great looking door gives you home instant curb appeal and makes the other features of your facade look better by proximity. It's a stretch to say that the front door alone will sell your home, but it will certainly help. And even if you don't plan to sell anytime soon, a quality door adds lasting value to your home that will one day translate to a higher asking price. 3. A great door is a project a sense of security and solidity front doors have the twin purpose of inviting people in and keeping people out. In the same way that a quality door can attract the attention of neighbors and buyers, it can deter the attention of burglars. The front door remains a common point of entry for home intruders. A door that looks old, flimsy, worn out, and easy to breach is simply an open invitation to thieves. A strong, solid door, by contrast, is a powerful deterrent and gives your whole home the appearance of being locked down and carefully protected. There are different door types. Doors create privacy, define rooms, reduce noise and instill beauty and style. Interior doors come in different materials and styles, making them easier to match or complement your home's decor. There are endless door options to choose from when it comes time to buy, which can make the decision all the more difficult. This guide will walk you through the different types of doors for your home so you can find the one that suits your decor. Leave a comment with the city from which you are watching this. I would like to give you a shout out and thank you for sharing this video. Types of doors for your home by style. Doors come in different styles that are mainly based on their functionality. This classification can make it easier for new homeowners. homeowners. Choosing the right door style can elevate your home's appeal while also making it more efficient. 1. A Dutch door is a type of exterior door often chosen for entry point doors. They are split in half, so the top and bottom operate independently. Dutch doors are ideal for a kitchen to let air in, or as the door to the patio for letting pets or kids out. 2. French doors Untimely elegant French doors are statement making. They're double doors that are mainly composed of glass panes. panes. The two doors open inward and can open together or independently. French doors are usually used as exterior doors since they give rooms plenty of extra light. Still, they're useful for dividing rooms without enclosing the space, so it helps the living space appear more spacious. 3. Bifold doors are usually lightweight interior doors that fold toward the user. As the doors fold, they simultaneously slide open, which is why they're commonly used to cover closets, utility rooms and kitchens. However, some modern bifold doors made of glass and steel frames can be great options for exteriors. Hashtag if you made it here, that means you enjoying the video, so, subscribe and like. It won't cost you anything but for us, it will make all the difference. 5. Hinged doors These are what most people know as passage doors. Doors. These doors have one end installed on hinges so they can swing to and from the room. It's likely that every room in your home already has a hinged door installed. 6. Sliding doors Sliding doors are exterior doors used on the back or side of the house, usually opening onto a patio or a deck. But sliding doors can also find their way onto the interior of the house in closets, utility rooms or pantries. They move on a track as you push them open so they don't protrude on space at all. 7. Pocket doors Pocket doors are very similar to sliding doors, but these disappear into a wall when they're open. They're perfect for powder rooms, closets and bathrooms. Rooms. Pocket doors move on a track into a door slab contained within a pocket or hollow space in the wall. 8. Barn doors, traditionally meant for exterior use, barn doors make a statement indoors as they become a mainstay in modern farmhouse-style homes. Barn doors are often made of wood that hangs from a track outside the room. They're a popular option for bathrooms, kitchens, and hallways. 9. 
Pivot doors, pivot doors turn on two rotates on the top and bottom of the door. When they open, the panel looks like it's part of the wall design, giving it a modern style. Pivot doors are available in many materials because the frame is designed to support heavier loads, which also means they're great for front doors. 10. Saloon doors, though not as popular anymore, saloon doors are quite tactical. They're designed to allow for ventilation while still covering up what's behind them. Saloon doors have bi-directional hinges and no door handles, so one could easily walk through them, even while holding items, which makes them ideal for kitchens and dining rooms. 11. Roller doors Roller doors, also known as sectional overhead doors, are mainly used for garages and storage facilities. However, they're starting to become interior doors as they can add a statement to living room spaces, for example. Roller doors don't require much space and are available in different materials that can easily match your house's style. They roll up to the ceiling when opened. Click here to see more types of doors classified by materials.